Hello, ev hello everyone, welcome back, Severt is here, coming back with part 3 of what if Deku had a race. Now where we last left off, Izuku has got into the heroes versus villain exam uh, with, you know her, Momo Yairuzu going against Katsuki Bakugo and Kirishima. Winning that match after being the villains and capture the two heroes. And after that, the day of the school ended when Izuku has gone to take his normal training with Aizawa on using his scarf that's he wrapped it around his hand, not around his neck. It's like a bandage around his arms. He told him about that girl that she called Himiko Toga and he told him about her quirk and what she can do and that she actually wished to be a hero. As Shota Aizawa said, well how about you get her here in the next day of UA and I will gonna ex ex exam her, examinate her, if, she, if I saw a potential a potential in her, I will gonna make her join you in class 1A next day. Okay, as Izuko agreed with these, you know, terms, and after that he left to go back to his house and sleep. And the next day, he wake up. <laughs> he wake up, and after saying good morning to his mother, and eating a breakfast, he goes to his his phone to call someone. As he said, well, here is goes nothing. As he call on the number, the phone starts ringing, and after that, uh, he said hello. As the other guy said, oh, hello, is that? You, Midoriya? As Izuku said, Yeah, it's me. Are you, Toga, are you awake? As Toga said, Yes, but why are you calling? As Izuku continues saying, Well, I talked to my teacher in UA, and he said he will gonna give you a chance today. If he saw a potential in you, he will gonna put you in class 1A. As Toga eyes whiting saying, oh, uh, uh, are you, are you serious? He will gonna put me in class 1A just if I impressed him? As Izuku said, yeah, but stay calm and let him see, think clever about your quirk and attack clever because I don't know what kind of exam he will gonna give you. And... Well, get ready. I will gonna, I will gonna meet you at your house, and then we gonna go to you a, okay? As Toga said, uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna get ready. Uh, w well, thank you and goodbye. As Izuku said goodbye, and after that, Izuku, Izuku goes to Toga house and knock on the door. As after that, Toga came out saying, oh, Midoriya, I'm ready, as Izuku said, okay, let's go, but where is your parents, as Toga said, well, they're normally not here, so, so I'm sometime alone in the house, as Izuku said, huh. okay, let's go, and remember, Izuku is still wearing his sunglasses, if you're wondering why, then how about you watch the last two parts? And after they continue go to UA, Izuku and Toga get inside, and Aizawa meet them. Uh, yeah, in front of UA, as he said, "Well, hello, Midoriya, and you must be Toga, right?" As Toga looking at this. Sleepy guy, wait a second. 
she sees this sleepy guy in front of her as Shota Aizawa said, well, are you Himiko Toga or no? As Toga said, eh, said, Izuku, is this really your teacher? As Eraserhead said, are you gonna give me your name or should I already just end the test? As she said, um, Himiko Toga, that's right, it's me. As Eraserhead said, hmm, okay. Midoriya has t had told me about you. He told me about your quirk and how you can become a good stealth hero, but people were telling you that you are villain just because of it needed to drink blood. Well, I will gonna see that myself. I don't believe there is something that called an villainous quirk. Look at Midoriya here. He needed to live all his life wearing a sunglasses, but just because his quirk is can't can erase anyone quirk and also because his eyes are bloody red but look at him now in UA training to become a good hero and I'm gonna test you to see if if he actually write about you come with me and you Midoriya go into your class as Izuku said yes Mr. Aiza and after that for since Aiza will gonna test Toga the new uh, class you know teacher for now it will be midnight as midnight come into the class saying well student today we will gonna do a very very important thing as everyone get a little bit chill down their spine but after that she said we will gonna choose who will gonna become the class representative as everyone calmed down and after that midnight said well if anyone thinks that he can become a good class representative then how about you uh, uh, move up your hand as everyone start moving up their hand and Izuku are the only one that he didn't do that but after that Ida said stand up saying if we just continue doing this then we won't gonna get any solution by any you know yeah close time we need a good we need a good system to decide who will gonna become the class representative as Izuku raises his hand and said well how about we vote as everyone actually think that's a good idea as, and Midnight said well that's a good idea out of you Midoriya now how we will gonna vote the person with the most votes will gonna become the class representative and after that everyone vote Izuku voted for uh, you can say Ida because he know Ida love these things but uh, after that midnight look at the votes as she said well 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 students look at that looks like we with the most vote looks like everyone got voted to themselves or voted to someone else well let's see as she looked through the votes and then she said well the person with the most votes is Izuku Midoriya as Izuku raises his hand I mean his in looking at midnight and said what me and why that exactly as she said well you got four votes in total as he said four votes and who are these people as me uh, you know him, Ida and Kirishima and Momo and Uraka voted for Izuku since they saw how he's smart and strong and blah 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 that stupid shit as she said well the second one the, with the most votes is Momo Yairuzu okay well Midoriya come here with Momo 
as Izuku and Momo stand up on the, you know, the desk in front of uh, the class. As Izuku said, well, if you really want me to be the class representative, I'm gonna become the class representative. But, as he take down his sunglasses and open his eyes doing like a hockey thing, you know, making them all fear him, as he said, the things won't gonna get easy from now on. If we have any time to train, we will train in it. And I will make sure everyone here is becoming the best as possible in the school. Understand? And I will gonna make the time of the rest uh, instead of 50, 15 minutes into f 10 minutes only. And we will gonna, uh, in the weekend, all of us will gonna come into UA and start training on a new ways to use our quirk. Understand? As everyone just get chilled down their spine. Kurishima, Momo, Ida, and Uraka all in their heads saying, What did I do? <laughs> and after that, Midnight said, Ooh, you remind me of Aizawa so much. I'm really wondering if you. I. I really wonder if you are his real son or something. As Izuku looking at her. I said, he's not my father. As Midnight said, okay, okay, Tiger. I didn't say anything. Sheesh. And after that, they end up from this class. And everyone goes to eat their food. As after that, he goes back to wear his sunglasses. And by his side is Raka. Ida Kurishima and Momo of course because she wants to talk with the class representative of being her him you can see because her he she <laughs> oh my god she is his assistant yes as Kurishima and Uraka said with uh, you know him Ida said hey Izu bro congratulations on becoming this the class representative, as Izuku said, thank you, Kirishima. As Uraka said, but don't you think you are quite going too hard on us? As Izuku said, hmm, maybe you're right. Maybe I was slacking a little bit. I know what to do. I will gonna make the re resting time instead of... 10 minutes into just 5. As Uraka said, that's not what I meant. As Momo said, yeah, maybe you should at least leave it on 10. As Izuku said, huh, fine. If you want to waste time, okay, whatever. And after that, the alarm starts going off and everyone starts going crazy. And Izuku, Momo, and Uraka and you know him, Ida, and Kirishima, all of them being pushed away, Izuku being pushed at the class, seeing the transporter out there, as he said, God damn it, and they are just running away out of, because of transporter, what a heroes, as he left up his sleeve, revealing the, you know, the scarf of, his scarf under his hand, and you know around his arms and start using it like a spider-man to get in higher place and after that he jumped down in front of the exit and take down his glasses and look at them with it as such a strong bloodlust which make everyone stop as he said everyone stop the freaking i mean calm the fucking down as everyone just calm down and they get chilled down their spine because the use uh, I mean they get chilled down their spine because Izuku eyes is just bloody red as he said it's just a transporter that's managed to get into UA nothing too big and I'm really surprised out of you guys 
you are suddenly just freaked out because of an alarm going off and and you are forgetting that we have Shota Aizawa, a hero that can delete quirks and All Might, the number one hero and a couple other of heroes that's right now above our heads. What kind of stupid villain will gonna try to get into you a in the middle of the day? As everyone is, you know, uh, leaning their heads down as he said, even you the people from the third year at, at UA. Even you start running away. <laughs> what what a fakes. As he leave. Some getting angry because he just called everyone in UA fake. And some a little bit sad, you know. He actually hit them where it hurts. And he go back to the class. And... Uh, the a the day ended, and after that, uh, Izuku being, uh, you know, called by the principal into his office. As Izuku go, and after getting into the principal office, he see, a uh, Toga sitting on a chair behind him, behind him, be behind her, is Shota Aizawa as. Izuku said, oh, Toga, shh, shh, Mr. Aizawa, what's wrong? As Shota said, well, we done out of our test. And now, I, I'm ready to give you my answer. As Izuku said, yeah, and what is it? As uh, Toga said, <sighs> well, he said that I can become, an, that I become, can become a great hero and he will gonna put me in 1A as she start getting happy as Zuko said <laughs> okay Toga congratulations as she uh, goes to Izuku to go hug him as she said thank you for everything that you done to me I never expected that my dream will gonna become true as Izuku blushes a little bit saying uh, can you get away from me as Shota looking at this saying, huh, well, if you really like him that much, you can sit by his side in the class. As Izuku said, what are you talking about, uh, Mr. Aizawa? As Nezu said, <laughs> well, congratulations, Miss Toga. And you can come tomorrow. And uh, if you want, you can send me the design that you want for your hero outfit as she said thank you principal nezu as aizawa said well midoriya i was gonna say that you should train for tonight but i think you and toga deserve a little bit of rest as izuku said what do you mean by that as he said you can leave and go back to your house and take some sleep i know what it's feel being so tired so I don't want you to feel the same thing as Izuku said uh, okay and uh, after that Toga said well Izuku let's go as she get hold of his hand as he said what are you why are you holding my hand as Toga said um, nothing just to drag you away from here as Izuku said can you please leave me as she said, ah, uh, okay. And after they get out of you, a eh? Toga said, do you want to eat some ice cream? As Izuku said, ice cream? As Toga said, yeah, didn't you eat some one in your life? Or are you just that kind of person? As Izuku said, well, uh, I don't really know. I don't remember the last time I ate ice cream. As she said, okay, let's go and eat some. As Izuku said, well, I'm gonna get late on my mother. She getting worried so fast about me. As Toga said, oh, come on, it's just an ice cream. Nothing too dramatic. As Izuku said, ah, fine, fine. And after they 
get to a you know a little ice cream shop the guy said ah oh, welcome young man and young lady how can i serve you today as toga said uh, give me one vanilla ice ice cream please as he said right in the way and you mister what do you want as izuku said hmm give me vanilla with chocolate as he said half chocolate half vanilla okay right in the way and after the guy make the ice ice cream he gave it to toga and izuku and they sit down eating it as toga said do you love chocolate as izuku said well uh, yeah kind of it's my favorite thing as toga said cool i love uh vanilla as izuku said yeah much noticed well as toga said how is the people in your class are they nice or should i tell them about my quirk as izuku said well i can i can say that mm, nine, 99 of them are nice as toga said and what that one percent that is not nice as izuku said you will know him once you see him in the class it's just one person the others will gonna just act with you just like normal as toga said i wish i wish they kinda um uh, you know what why did i forget it um come on think uh, as I wish they are nice as you, as Izuku said, do you really find me nice? As Toga said, yeah, of course, you saved me, helped me to come back to my house, told me that my quirk is not villainous, and you are the first one that telling me that, beside Mr. Aizawa, and you even gave me a chance to get into UA, y you just do good, as... Toga blushes a little bit as Izuku said, um, why are you red? <clears throat> why are you red? As Toga said, uh, I'm red? Uh, no. As she, they look in another way as Izuku said, well, I need to come back to my house. It's getting darker and darker. We need to go. As Toga said, okay. And after Izuku leaving her in her house he go to his house and get uh, said hello mom as Inko said oh hello Izuku how's your day as Izuku said it was nice uh, do we have any uh, dinner the din is the dinner was ready as Inko said yeah it's ready just come here and eat it after that he go into sleep and you know mm, he sleep and in the next day Izuku getting ready to get into UA as he after getting ready to go into UA he said okay mom I'm leaving as Inko said goodbye Izuku and don't forget your goggles as Izuku said oh yeah right and Izuku got, you know, uh, how can I say it? Uh, you, uh, Principal Nezu, let him take the goggles uh, everywhere he wants because these goggles, you know, are special. It's just like Shota Aizawa goggles, but it's have a little bit of special glass inside it that uh, when Izuku looking through it, it's not like the sunglass. It's not dark. It's making him see very perfect, and he can't use his quirk or, uh, uh, or behind that glass. So it's perfect for you know just moving around, and he also he he can just make his goggles. <laughs> what am I saying? It's just a specialized goggles, whatever. <laughs> After that, he leave the 
the house and start walking. From far away, he hear his someone calling his name. As he said, "Where is there?" As he see Toga waving to him and said, "Midoriya, Izuku." But Izuku, I I think she will gonna call him Izuku because in the normal anime she also do that. As Izuku said, "Oh, hey Toga, what is it?" As she said, "Well, both of us are living close to each other, so how about we?" Walk into the school together, as Izuku said. Well, I don't see any problem in that. As Toga said, "Okay, let's go." As they start walking together, Toga told him that she starts learning how to use knives and things like that. As Izuku said, "Huh, knives? You mean like these knives?" As Izuku take out from from his, you know, a. Uh, you know the school uniform a knife as she said wow that's a very beautiful knife where did you get it as izuku said well i was training on using a knife when i was uh, much younger it's just a weird habit of me loving knives as toga said i also love knives but i really don't have that much it's just a couple as izuku said <clears throat> well, maybe one day you can show me your knives. As Toga said, okay. And after they get into a, <clears throat> Izuku seeing in front of him a lots of transporter, as the transporter the transporters suddenly go to Izuku, looking at him wearing the same goggles as a racer head, as they say. Kid, uh, you know, the transporter said, Kid, what's your name? Uh, and can you tell us about if All Might is really a teacher in UA? As he said, and why would I do that? I'm not in the mood right now. Can you please get out of my way? As the transporter said, wait a minute. I remember you, kid. You are that kid from the sludge villain incident that you saved that kid from the other kid isn't that right as izuku said uh okay that's right but can you please leave me as he said last time you didn't tell us about your quirk or your name but this time i won't let this chance go away can you tell us uh, tell me about your quirk and um your name and why are you wearing this the same goggles as a racer head as Izuku said, can you please get out of the way? As Toga said, come on, get out of the way. We have a. This is my first day at, at the school, and I will gonna get late because of you. As the transporter said, can you quite, can you get quiet, please? I'm talking with this kid right now. As Izuku's getting a little bit frustrated because this guy is not getting out of his way and. He just tried to sh to make his friend shut up, as Izuku said, Okay, you want to know my quirk? As the transporters all said, Yes, can you tell us about your quirk? As Izuku said, Fine, I will gonna show you. How about I show you instead of just telling you? As they say, this might be getting even better. And after that, Toga gets a little bit behind because she know what's about to get to happen. As Izuku put his goggles around his neck and then he opened his eyes revealing a such a bloody eyes making the transporter get scared as he said go away as they start running and after that he stopped using his bloodlust and put the goggles again as the toga said well that was sure crazy and scary as izuku said yeah, sorry for that. They are just so annoying. As she said, no, I understand very well. And after that, Aizawa seeing them on the about to get into the class, as he said, well, Midoriya, hello there, Toga. As they said, they say, good morning, Mr. Aizawa. As Ms. Aizawa said, well, Toga, we saw your hero outfit and. Don't you think you want to change it? Because it's basically a couple of knives with the 
a school a girl school uniform as she said no i think it's good as you know it's just her basically villain outfit but without that stupid big things around her head because i really don't see the why they put it in the first place as Aizawa said, well then, Aizuk, Midoriya, you can get in the class. Toga, stay here because I want to introduce you to the others. As she said, okay, Mr. Aizawa. And Izuku gets into the class and then he takes down his goggles because everyone, you know, so nice there except Bakugo. Letting him, me, they doesn't see the big problem of their quirks being erased when they are inside the class as Araka and Kirishima come in front of him or you know uh, looking at him said Araka said good morning Izuku as Izuku said good morning as Kirishima said yo Izubro where were you last night as Izuku said well I was eating ice cream with a new friend as Kirish Araka said oh and who is this new friend as Izuku said, well, you're gonna know soon enough. After that, Aizawa come into the class. Well, students, today we have a new classmate. It's, uh, you can say, someone that, how can I say it? She is just so happy in a weird way. Anyway. I wish they that you will act with her so nice because we I don't want to see you all just in fight every every time I get in the class understand as they all nuts and he said well come come in as Toga came in and uh, after that she stand beside uh, you know him Shota Aizawa as she said hello my name is Himiko Toga nice to meet you everyone you know with her normal smiley teeth as the girls think that that the girls of the class think that she are actually cute you know happy they are having a new girl by their group as Furubi said well what's your quirk as Toga gets surprised by this question as he said um, well uh, as Aizawa said come on already don't be scared as she said well my quirk is called blood copy I can transform into any person if I drink their blood as once Bakuga heard this thing a villain you got another villain into our class Mr. Aizawa or he not saying I Mr. Aizawa, he said, Aizawa, are you serious? Doesn't a one villain is already enough for us? Getting another one? As Toga gets a little bit sad by this, as Izuku looking at Bakugo with the deadly eyes, as he said, sit down. As Bakugo said, don't tell me, tell, tell me what to do, villain. Erase her face. As Izuku said, well, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but are you gonna listen the are you gonna, you know, listen to him? As I shot Aizawa, his hair starts levitating as he said, Bakugo, shut the hell up before I shut you myself. I was thinking about giving Miss Toga here a new... Uh, you know a new desk to sit on but I th I start thinking about re replacing someone here with her as Baku get a little bit angry saying seriously you think that you can replace me with her as Chota said or Aizawa said yes I can do that very easily so how about you shut up this is my class I can put any student that I want and and kick out any student that I want understand I'm not gonna listen to your stupid talk as he said down and said fine whatever and after that Aizawa said 
Well, Miss Toga, you can sit by the side of Midoriya there. As she said, okay. And after that, they, cl they do a little bit of, you know, uh, funny, uh, you know, normal class. Uh, and normal thing as uh, after they go into, you know, eating their meals, it Toga sit sit beside Izuku as Uraka come from the other side with Kirishima, as Kirishima said, "Yo, Izu bro, can we sit beside you?" As he said, "Well, of course you can sit. I mean, you don't need my agreement to that." As Uraka said, "Well, Midoriya, we we were." Thinking about the three of us just going to the mall and have you know having fun. Do you want to come with us? As he said, Well no, I'm sorry, but I can't go with you because as Toga said, Oh yeah, Midoriya, can you teach me how to use knives like you? Because I really want to learn your style. You know, with a big smile, as he said, um, okay. As Raka looking at this, she feel weird, something weird. As she said, why am I feeling something weird in my chest? It's like I lost some sort of, you know, what they call it? A comp, a, some sort of fight against her. As... Izuku said, well, yeah, I'm sorry, Kirishima, but I have training with Aizawa and Toga want me to, you know, teach her knives. And the other class when I come and start to talking with Toga and she told them about how Izuku saved her and things like that. As Mina said, so you like him? As... Izuku takes down his goggles and look directly into Mina's eyes as he said, What did I just hear? As Mina said, um, Nothing, nothing. I, I was just kidding. As Toka, Toga blushes a little bit and she said, Kind of. As Izuku getting surprised by this as he, you know, getting a little bit of wave. As Kirishima said, Hey, Izu bro, why are you getting a little bit away? As he said, um, uh, no reason. I just love personal space. As after that, and a little bit of talking with Toga and about her quirk and everything. And she told them about how Izuku acted like he's a villain and he can delete their quirks forever and scare the living shit out of them. As... The, the class start laughing and things like that as they go to the class for the, you know, uh, the end of the day, as Aizawa said, well, class, you're supposed to go to your homes by now, but we have a field trip today. As everyone, uh, you know, Ida said, a field trip? Where are we going, uh, Mr. Aizawa? As Aizawa said, well, we are gonna go to the USJ to train on rescuing missions. And Toga, everyone, you can wear anything you want. Your gym uniform or your hero outfits. But since Miss Toga, her hero outfit is not ready right now, you, she will gonna just wear her gym uniform. As everyone gets ready, Izuku wearing his uh, hero outfit, and if you doesn't know what's his hero outfit, it's something like this. Uh, a t-shirt with uh, long sleeves, and a hoodie jacket with uh, short ones, and around his arms he ripping around them the scarf of Aizawa, and he wears the goggles of Aizawa, the same as him. And this is just his here outfit, nothing to do with Ken Kaneki or any ghoul or something. 
as everyone getting into the bus, Izuku sat in his normal place, but a little bit uh, close to the window. Uraka wanted to sit on his right side, but Toga has already sit by his side as Uraka just saying in her mind, Why do I feel that I'm being defeated? Um, anyway, as she goes sitting behind, as uh, everyone talking about their quirks and Kirishima in the end said, Well, if there is someone as sure as strong, it will be easy, bro. As Bakugo said, That villain! <laughs> I can defeat him in two seconds. As Izuku said, yeah, you can defeat me in your dreams. As everyone getting like, oh, and Baku getting fl frustrated as he said, do you want to fight? As Izuku said, we already fight and you already lost. As everyone just getting even more like, ouch, this is really hurt. And Toga starts laughing as Baku said, what are, what are you laughing on it? Yeah, uh, blood freak, as Toga said. Oh, look who's talking, the angry Pomeranium. As he's, he's just getting worse and worse. As Baku said, Stop this freaking boss, I'm gonna blow the shit out of their faces. As he start doing some uh, firecrackers in his hand, Izuku looking at him, the firecrackers stop. As Baku said, Hey! Who who letting you using your quirk on me? As Izuku said, who let you use your quirk inside the bus? And after that, Aizawa said, Bakugo, sit down. And Izuku, leave him alone. And everyone just calm down. And after that, um, they ask I Toga about how her quirk are kind of working and things like that. But they end up in there. USJ and once they get in they being met by the number the theor the hero 13 as Uraka start fan girling around her as she said you are my favorite hero and uh, 13 said well it's nice to see a fan and after that Aizawa come in front of her and behind him sh she see a, g a, g a boy with scarf around his arms or you can see it's like bandages around his arms and wearing the same goggles as him and a, a hoodie jacket with short sleeves and a t-shirt with the long ones as and you know a long pants with a, f a combat boots as she said Aizawa is that your son as Izuku looking at her as he said, I'm really not his son. Is it wrong to, you know, like my, he's my, you know, the person that I most admires. And also I have the same quirk as him. So as 13 said, you are, he's the most person that you admires and you have the same quirk as him. Well, why do I find it? Hard to believe that you are not his son, as Izuku said. UA already did a blood test, as Aizawa said. Please, thirteen, focus. We are here to do the USJ. Uh, the you know, this, you know, the training of saving people, as she said. Oh yeah, as she starts going about how quirk can be dangerous and everything, blah blah blah. Izuku. Feeling something in the back of his head as he come closer to Aizawa saying Aizawa, Mr. Aizawa, as Izuku, Aizawa said, what is it Midoriya? As Izuku said, I feel something weird. As Aizawa said, hmm, what do you mean something weird? As after that, a portal opened in the middle of the USJ and villains start come out as Kirishima said, Whoa, you even have fake villains here? So cool! As after that, Izuku starts using the scarf around his hand, you know, just like Aizawa do with his, around his neck, make it levitate. I, and because of that, I will gonna just say that his scarf, when he starts using it, is just start levitating for no good reason. 
is not because of his quirk and if it's because of his quirk I will say that Izuku using his the his quirk to make it levitate or whatever <laughs> as he said Aizawa and Iz Izuku in the same time and the perfect time they say together these those are not fake villains they are real 13 protect the students as both of the both of them looking at each other and before they could do anything or you know Aizawa said Midoriya stay with the others I will gonna jump in and fight the villains as Izuku said no way I'm not gonna as Aizawa already did this and he want to go after him but before that a, ver a purple portal a purple and dark portal open in front of him as he come back a little bit by the side of Toga because she just want to stay close to him a guy wearing a, you know a par a bartender uh, wearing a metal around his neck and he looking like he's made out of black smoke with the purple eyes come as he said well hello everyone my name is Kuriguri and we are the League of Villains as he start looking around saying hmm don't you think this is could be a, a very good place for the number one hero the symbol of peace all might to die we got information that he will gonna be here in the USJ but looks like their our information are wrong as Izuku opening his uh, try to erase you know him Kirigori quirk but before that happened everyone being teleported away Izuku uh, being teleported into the what's called the you know the city that is the the zone <laughs> um uh what was it called? What was it called? Wait a second. Yes, the earthquake zone. You know, the destruction. The city that are destroyed right now. And uh, the guy with the, you know, the one that can talk with animals being sent to the, uh, you know, the ship, uh, the ship zone, the water zone. And Izuku stand up seeing, you know him. Togoyami, the bird kid, the one with the dark shadow, and Toga wearing her gym uniform. As he said, Are you okay, guys? As Togoyami said, I'm okay. Nothing can hurt the one who has seen the abyss. As Toga said, uh, Yeah, my heart is hurting a little bit, but I'm okay. As after that, Izuku uh, opened his goggles, getting ready to fight. Because villains start surrounding him as he said Togoyami you take the left side Toga the right I will gonna try to erase their quirks as much as possible as Togoyami and Toga agree with that because they know Togoyami know that Izuku is smart Toga she just like him as the villain said one of the villains said <laughs> erase our quirks who are you kid as Izuku uh, open his goggles as he said your worst nightmare as he starts using his scarf going at the villains the first villain having a fire quirk his quirk being erased Izuku jumping at him wrapping his scarf around his body and slam him behind his back as everyone of the villains getting chill down their spine saying this kid I know only one hero have this quirk and it's eraser head but He's not this young, as another villain said, is he his son? Because he has defeated a c the villain so easy. And while they are talking, Izuku just making sure to look at every single one of them. You know, Izuku quirk is not like Aizawa specifically. He can't stop it and it's have a time limit. And much more, when he become more angrier, the time limit increased and uh, he have a slight slightly enhancement and that's why this i gave him one for all and if izuku said for the last fucking time i'm not 
a racer hat son as he starts jumping around and using his scarf. He making sure that not to look at Shug you know him uh, Toguyami or Toga as they just fighting Izuku jumping on their heads wrapping around them using the scarf and Toga was about to get shot by by that uh, guy with the you know that can shoot uh, bullets out of his finger as Izuku looking at this guy and taking out of his jacket a knife throwing it directly uh, in his chest as the guy screaming in pain and after that Toga looking behind of, of her seeing Izuku was about to say saved her from death she blushes a little bit but this is not what we are talking about this is not the time the right time to talk and things like that as after they end up from everything uh, Izuku and Toga and um, Togoyami go out Izuku said Togoyami Toga go help others I will gonna help Aizawa as Togoyami said that's a that's a good plan he you know he think Izuku is smart and he know what he's doing he think before he's acting Toga just listening for his talk <laughs> literally she just just listening to him as after that Izuku start running in the, into the middle of the USJ as after that he suddenly stopped saying as he see his teacher Shota Aizawa the person that he most admire his head being just put in the ground by a very weird creature as he just being up and down slamming his face into the ground as Aizawa looking at Izuku, Izuku right now wearing his goggles as he said run as from behind Shigaraki said oh who's this one of your students <laughs> look look very close at your teacher while he's dying as Izuku getting angry his face is just face you know emotionless as he looking down and take down his hoodie and using his left arm taking out taking down his goggles as he said how dare you how dare you how dare you do something like this to him as his eyes turn full red as he start just crying literally blood out of his eyes while they are red as heck Shigaraki looking at this as he said what the hell is th what the hell is wrong with that kid as Izuku looking directly into the Nomo's eyes the Nomo for no reason even if he's having no emotions he getting a little bit back as Sh Sh Shigaraki said what the the Nomo is going back as Shigaraki gets hold of himself as he said Nomo kill that brat as the Nomo starts rushing at Izuku, Izuku st stop using his scarf, taking two knives out of his jacket as he starts rushing at the Nomo. The Nomo throwing a punch, Izuku catching it with his left arm and uh, stab the Nomo in his uh, right, you know, the left, uh, catching, catching the left, the right hook of the Nomo as he stab the knife into his left arm and cut it off as Shigaraki said how the the Nomo ha supposed to have very strong enhancement quirk as Izuku just looking at the Nomo as Shigaraki said he <laughs> does doesn't matter he have a, a regeneration and shock absorption as Izuku just looking at the Nomo Shigaraki and Kuraguri looking at the Nomo as the Nomo is not regenerate, regenerating at all, as Shigaraki said. What the? Sh Sh Kuriguri, what's wrong with the Nomo? Why isn't he regenerating? As Sh Kuriguri said, I don't know, Master, but that kid, his eyes are red, full red, and he's crying blood. I think that his quirk, and looking at Shota Aizawa right now, he can't use his quirk. Is this kid have the same quirk as him 
as Izuku rushed at the Nomo, and the Nomo rushing at him with his right arm, Izuku punching him in the stomach, sending him away. Well, because he doesn't have, you know, that shock absorption anymore, and Izuku, when he gets angrier, his enhancement body gets even better, and his quirk also gets even better, as Shigaraki just looking at this fight, Izuku jump again at the Nomo, using his scarf, wrapping it around the Nomo, and then slam it behind of him into the ground, and then jump at him and start literally stabbing him in the brain and the chest. The Nomo is just screaming in pain. Shigaraki are a little bit scared of this, as he said, "What the hell is wrong with that kid? How are they even letting him become a hero?" As Shigaraki said eh, I need to kill him as he rushed at Izuku. Izuku after uh, being done of the Nomo, hey you know his strong senses hearing something from behind as he spin around with the bloody red eyes and he just can still crying blood as after that Shigaraki are just was so close to him and he put his hand on his head as he said you're done as Shigaraki waiting, nothing happens, as he said, what the, why is nothing happened, why my quirk is not working, as Izuku getting hold of his hand, as he said, your funeral, you are a dead man walking, as Shigaraki getting a little bit uh, scared, but Izuku was about to stab him, but before that happened, Kiriguri managed to teleport him away uh, close to him as Shigaraki starts scratching his neck saying he's cheating he's cheating Eraser has supposed to, to be the only one that can erase quirk why is this kid have the same quirk as him uh, the gnomos why why is this happening as Kirigiri said, I don't know, master, but I think we need to leave. As Kir Shigaraki tried to touch the ground, saying, my quirk is not working. And it's it's a lot longer than Eraserhead. Uh, you, you cheater! As he looking at Izuku, Izuku start rushing at him like heck. As Shigaraki said, teleport me away from here. Sh Kirigiri! As Kirigiri teleport them away from here. Izuku jump and before he could stab Shigaraki, he being teleported away. As Izuku starts screaming, saying, ah! <laughs> and after that, he stopped crying blood and his eyes turned back to normal. And after that, he fall on the ground unconscious. And Eraserhead was watching the sick. Midoriya, what the hell happened? As both of them lost unconscious, Toga and Kirishima was watching this from behind, from far away. Everyone was watching this from far away as, yeah, he, Izuku right now is covered in blood. His face, his clothes is just bloody red. As, uh, Bakugo said, "See that, and you call and you tell me that he's not a villain. Just look at what he did." <sighs> As Toga said, "Shut up! He saved Mr. Aizawa. We need to go to to get him." As uh, everyone rush it, as Izuku and Eraserhead, as Toga go to Izuku, of course. The other, some others go to Eraserhead as he. Momo asked Eraserhead, saying, Eraserhead, are you okay? As Eraserhead are now unconscious. And of course, I know that's a stupid question, but as Toga looking at Izuku, she starts tearing a little bit as she said, Izuku, Izuku, wake up, wake up. As Izuku opened his eyes a little bit, seeing Toga crying as he just fall unconscious again. And after that, the heroes came in, and everyone, and all my seeing the dead no more, he said, Who did this? As everyone pointed at the knockoff Izuku, as all my seeing all the blood on his body, saying, 
What's happened to him? Is he... As Toga said, no, he's not dead. That's not his blood. As all might understand what that means after a couple of minutes in the hospital. Izuku and Eraserheads wake up beside each other. As Eraserheads said, huh, so you finally awake. As Izuku said, uh, what's happened? Right now he have his goggles on his eyes to make sure not no one gets erased. As Aizawa said, well, you saved my life and you defeated the Nomo and make the villains retreat. retreat. And you didn't even lost a single uh, uh, drip of blood. I'm impressed. Even I couldn't defeat the Nomo. As Izuku said, are you okay, Mr. Aizawa? Uh, what's... Do you have any, any da dangerous, uh, you know, injuries? As he said, calm down, kid. I have nothing, nothing to worry about. But you are the one that worrying me. As Izuku said, I'm sorry. As Aizawa said, what's happened to you there? As Izuku said, what do you mean, what's happened? What's actually happened? I doesn't remember a thing as I saw eyes whiting saying do you really not remember a thing kid your eyes turned full red and you start crying blood as Izuku said seriously as he tried to look in the mirror close to him as he see the goggles he take it off and start looking at himself and no he can't erase himself as he said oh, I'm looking normal he he's seeing a little bit of blood under his eyes as he said, "Am I seriously cried blood?" As Aizawa said, "Not that, just that. You defeated the Nomo that he was supposed to be able to defeat All Might." As Izuku said, "What is that true?" And that's happened when I was like not even conscious. As Aizawa said, "Yeah." And after that, yeah, All Might and the detective with the chief of police, the dog, and the detective come into the room. As All Might said, Well, hello there, Miss Eraserhead and young Midoriya. As Izuku said, Ah, oh, All Might, what is it? As he, right, he, All Might, or you know, the detective said, Well, young Midoriya, we saw what's happened and everyone told us about what happened. And I Shota Aizawa here told us about the Nomo. We find the Nomo dead on the ground with nine, with eighty-five stab in his chest and his brain. As Izuku said, "Am I really the one that did this?" As uh, the other chief of police, said, the chief of police said, "Well." You are actually did it, but don't worry, the Nomo wasn't a human. We experimented on it and we saw that he doesn't have consciousness. As after that, the, the detective said, well, we find even something that really scared us, Midoriya. As Izuku said, what is it? As the All Might said, well, for... As the Aizawa said and a couple of students said that the Nomo have three quirks. Regeneration, shock absorption and enhancement. As Izuku said, yes, and what about it? He right now wearing his goggles to not erase All Might or anyone. The detective said, well, when we did the test on the Nomo, we find something really horrifying Midoriya. As Izuku said, okay, now you are scaring me, what's happened? All Might putting his hand on Izuku's left shoulder, left shoulder as he said, Midoriya. The Nomu didn't have any quirks. As Izuku eyes whiting saying, what, what do you mean? Uh, uh, I'm, did I mishear you? What, what are you said? As the chief of police said, that's right, Midoriya. When we find the Nomu, we saw his body without any quirks. And it's not a mistake from us. A, we, even if someone died, we can 
know if he have a quirk or not, but the Nomo didn't just didn't have any quirks at all. As the detec the detective said, and from what Mr. Aizawa told us, your eyes turned bloody red and you start crying blood. And you are the one that defeated the Nomo, so we thought that you might know a, th a thing about this. As Izuku said, I, I don't really understand what you talk talking about, but I really don't remember a thing. The last thing that I remember is Mr. Aizawa had been being smashed into the ground by the Nomo, and after that, I wake up here. As the detective said, well, Midoriya, we have a theory that might actually be true, as Izuku said, what is it? As the All Might said, well, young Midoriya, your quirk is just like eraser head. It's, you, you can erase any one quirk you see, and you can stop it, and it have a time limit sometime. You can erase someone quirk for right now mm, five minutes, as you told me before, as Izuku said, yes, that's right. And I can also control that time to make it like 60, 16 seconds, two minutes, some things like that. As the detective said, well, Midoriya, we think that when your eyes turn full red and you're and you start crying blood, we think we thinking the our theory saying that you have deleted the Nomo quirks forever as Izuku eyes whiting, even Aizawa eyes whiting as he said, deleted the Nomo quirks forever with one look as he looking at Izuku and everyone looking at Izuku as Izuku said, I, I really don't know anything about this. Um, sorry. But all my said, don't worry, young Midoriya. You didn't do anything wrong. But the ability, if that what we actually sing is true, and you can really delete people quirk forever. As an another person come into the room, as he said, this will be very help helpful to our society, young man. As Izuku saying this. As he said, um, who's this person? As All Might said, well, this is, is uh, Kunam, Kunami Itusharo. This is just a name that I make right now. As he, Mr. Itusharo said, hello, young boy. My name is Unami Itusharo. You can call me Itusharo or Unami, just whatever you like. As Izuku said, and who are you? As the guy said, well, just as I said, I'm Utusharo, Unami Utusharo, but you, th you can know me as the warden of the uh, Tartarus prison, as Izuku said, and why are you here? As uh, Unami said, don't, uh, I kid, you might be smart, but... Uh, you are got a lots of things, so I was gonna tell you. When the police told me that you deleted the normal quirks forever, I thought that we can use this into a very use useful way. As Izuku said, what do you mean? As All Might said, young Midoriya, if you could delete the normal quirks forever, why can't you delete someone quirk forever? As Izuku said, you don't mean, as Unami said, yes, uh, young boy, I think when you, uh, you know, fully healed, you can delete the quirks of the prisoner in Tartarus. That's will gonna be a very great help of you, making them a quirkless people, and we will be able to make sure they don't run away very easily with that. As Izuku said, are you really sure about that? And I really don't know how did I did it in the first place. As uh, Unami said, well, Midoriya, you can't rain on it. I, I just wish that you one day will gonna come to Tartarus and help me a little bit. As All Might said, it will be a great 
help of you, young Midoriya. Even a few villains, it will be very great help. As All Might, uh, Izuku said, I I'm gonna think about this. Th thank you, Mr. Unami, All Might, and the detective. As everyone leave Izuku, and he come back to sleep. And this is where I'm gonna leave it off, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what do you think about this part and what will gonna happen in the next one. And I have nothing more to say than Severed was here.